a boy was watching his grandmother write a letter. At one point, he asked, Are you writing a story about what we've done? Is it a story about me? His grandmother stopped writing her letter and said to her grandson, I am writing about you, but more important than the words is that pencil I'm using. I hope you will like this pencil when you grow up. Intrigue, the boy looked at the pencil. It didn't seem very special, but it's just like any other pencil I've ever seen. That depends on how you look at things. It has five qualities, which, if you manage to hang on them, will make you a person who is always at peace with the world. The first quality of a pencil is that you are capable of great things, but you must never forget that there is a hand guiding your steps. We call that hand God, and He always guides us according to His will. The second quality is now and then. I have to stop writing and use sharpener. That makes the pencil suffer a little, but afterwards, he's much sharper. So you too must learn to bear certain pain and sorrows, because they will make you a better person. The third quality of a pencil will always allow you to use an eraser to rub out any mistakes. This means that correcting something with it is not necessarily a bad thing. It helps to keep us on the road to justice. And the fourth quality, what really matters in a pencil is not its wooden exterior, but the graphite inside. So always pay attention to what is happening inside you. Finally, the pencil's fifth quality, it always leaves a mark in just the same way. You should know that everything you do in life will leave a mark, so try to be conscious of that in your every action.